In these problems, we are finding doubling time or half-life. In this first problem, we have an investment, and this looks like the formula for uh, continuous compounding of an investment. And we want to know when will the investment be doubled in size. So this y sub 0 is the amount you start with your principal. y is the amount you end up with in the account. And then we've got e to the 0 0.0475 times t. So this 0 0.0475 looks like our rate uh, for this particular investment. So when will this be doubled is the question. Well, to do that, we want this variable here, this y, to be twice as big as y sub 0. So I can just replace y with 2 times y sub 0, and then just write the rest of the equation. So here we have y sub 0 times e to the 0 0.0475 t power. OK. Now this equation, we can simplify right away by just dividing both sides by y sub 0. That's going to make the y sub 0 just disappear. Uh, so we'll just get 2 on this side, and e to the 0 0.0475 times t power. This is great because we've got our exponential expression uh, all by itself now. So what I can do is take the natural log of both sides. When you take the natural log of both sides here, uh, what happens on the left is we just get the natural log of 2. But on the right, the natural log and the e part just kind of cancel each other out. So the natural log of e to some power is just that power. So this becomes 0 0.0475 times t. Now to solve for t, we just have to divide by 0 0.0475 on both sides. And of course, this cancels. So t equals this expression right here. And that we can plug into our calculator. So let's uh, try that. Uh, first of all, I need to find natural logs. I've got the common log up here, so I need to uh, press my second function button here. So I'm going to start with 2 and then hit the natural log button. So there's the natural log of 2. And then we're going to divide that by 0 0.0475. And that gives me this, 14 point, let's see how much do they want us to round this? Round to the nearest tenth, so 14.6. So this is going to take 14.6 years before this investment has doubled. So that's doubling. Let's look at a half-life problem. So half-life comes up when you have uh, radioactive substances, you know, substances like uranium and plutonium and so forth. They are constantly decaying. And scientists like to know the length of time it takes for half of an amount to be gone, to have decayed. And that's called the half-life. It's a way of keeping track of how long it takes a radioactive substance to decay. So here we have this exponential formula. We've got y equals y sub 0 times e to the negative 0 0.0936t. And this is very similar in uh, appearance to the formula we had before, except that in this case, um, you know, the, the y sub 0 is the initial amount of some radioactive substance. And the y is the substance you're, the amount of the substance you're going to have at the end of the time period you're looking at. So let's read the problem. It says a radioactive substance decays according to this following function, where y sub 0 is the initial amount, y is the amount present at time t in days. So this is half-life in days. We want to find the half-life of this substance. So before, when we were looking for doubling, we replaced this y with 2 times y sub 0. We want to know, in this case, when we have one half of y sub 0 left. So I can put 1 half, or I'm just going to put the decimal, so 0.5 y sub 0 on the, on the left-hand side of the equation. So that, that's what we're putting in for y. And then we'll write the rest of the equation. y sub 0 times e to the negative 0 0.0936t power. OK. And just like in the last one, we're going to divide both sides by y sub 0 to start with. And those are going to go away. So I just get. 0.5 on one side of the equation, and I get e to the negative 0.0936t power. At this stage, we're going to take the natural log of both sides, so natural log of 0.5. We'll take the natural log of e to this negative power and 
it's just that negative power. So, and then just as we did before, we're going to divide by this decimal part. So we're dividing by 0 0.0936. What that's going to do is leave the t alone on this side. So negative 0 0.0936. So these, these numbers cancel, and we just get t. So t equals this expression. And that's something we can calculate with our calculator. So let's give that a try. So up top, I've got 0.5. And we'll take the natural log. And then we're going to divide this by 0 0.0963, but it's negative. And there we go. We get 7 point, let's see, how far do they want us to round? nearest tenth, so 7.2 days for this substance to decay to half its initial volume, so 7.2 days. So that is a little bit of work with doubling and half-life problems.